Okay, so we're going to look at um, this first harmonic motion problem. Um, what is happening here is we can think of this as like being a piece of gum on a tire or something. And we want to see, we want to write an equation for the height of that gum as a function of time. So how high does that, that, does that gum go it's at point P? Um, so what they're telling us, a wheel with radius 2 centimeters is rotating counterclockwise at 3 radians per second. Point P has an initial height of 2 at time 0. Um, the bottom of the wheel is height zero. Okay, so here, this is going to be a height of zero. Here's height of two. We'll talk about that more in a second. As the wheel rotates, the height point P changes. Find a function that describes the height of P as a function of time. Okay, so um, I got started, and then they came in to check my projector, and I had to start a new video. Okay, anyway, whatever. Um, so here we are at time zero. Um, we're starting at this point, and our height, so we could say that this h of zero, height at time zero, is going to be equal to two centimeters. Um, so the radius there is two, and they were telling us that the bottom of the wheel is has a height of zero, Okay, which makes sense. If you're driving along the ground, your height is zero, and then here it's two. Um, so then at this point right here, Whatever this point is, we have a height of 4. So the here's 2 to here, and then 2 more gets me up there. Okay, so they had told us that it goes um, it travels 3 radians per 1 second. Um, in class, I asked, um, where is 3 radians? And I had some people say it's 1.5 uh, times around the circle, and then I had someone say, nope, it's just smaller than pi. Um, and I completely agree with that. So keep in mind that um, in our unit circle, that um, this would be pi over here, which is about 3.14. Well, okay. Um, so three radians would start here and take you to somewhere like that. Okay, that's what we mean by three radians because it's just a little bit less um, than pi radians. Um, okay, so back to the problem. If it's doing three radians in one second, what we need to know is we need to figure out how many... Um, how long does it take it to do one rotation? So how long does it take it to do two pi radians? So two pi radians in x seconds. Okay, so you can think of, we're setting a proportion here. Three radians is to one second as two pi radians is to x seconds. So then I have this three x is equal to two pi. And so x is equal to two pi over three. So what that's telling us is that it's going to do one full rotation and come back around. Um, the next time it gets to that point is at time 2 pi over 3. Okay, so then I need to know, well, okay, how long did it take it to get halfway there? Well, this will be at time, well, half of 2 pi over 3 is pi over 3. So we know that, at, that um, h of pi over 3 would be equal to that same height of 2. Well, in half of that, okay, so I'm, I'm thinking about my x and my y coordinates at the same time. Um, so half of this was when I'm going to be up here. So half of pi over um, 3 is pi over 6. So the height at time pi over 6 is going to be equal to 4 centimeters. Okay, so then we were at time 0, pi, 1 pi over 6, 2 pi over 6, 3 pi over 6. Um, notice how... I mean, hopefully, you already know your unit circle. You already know what your curves are going to need to look like. Um, 3 pi over 6 became pi over 2. And that is at, that has a height of 0. Okay, so maybe we should say um, centimeters, 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 centimeters. Okay, and then we get back at, at our time at h of 2 pi over 3. That's going to have a height of 2 centimeters again. Okay, so this, 2 pi over 3, is the period of our function. Um, so when I go to graph this, we have, here's 2 pi over 3. Here's pi over 3. This would be pi over 6-ish. This would be pi over 2. Okay, so at time 0, um, well, 1, 2, 3, 4 is what I care about. At time zero, we had a height. Well, at time zero, where was our height? Our height was two centimeters. So we're right here. At pi over six, that's when we're up here at the top. So we're going to go up something like this, and then we get back to our height of two centimeters at pi over three. We're down at um, zero at, at pi over two, and we come back here 
we're back to at the height at 2 pi over 3 is 2 centimeters. So we're back here. You, hopefully, you recognize that this looks like a sine curve. Okay, that's one period of the sine curve. And so we found its period. How long does it take it to do everything it's going to do? Its period is 2 pi over 3. Well, and remember, the period um, is equal to the parent period divided by b. Sorry. Okay, and since this is sine, sine's parent function has a period of 2 pi. So this 2 pi over 3 is equal to 2 pi over b. Um, reminder, the parent functions, um, sine, sine, cosine, secant, and cosecant have a parent function period of 2 pi, and then tangent, tangent, and cotangent, their parent function has a period of pi. Okay, but this curve is sine currently, or we could write it as cosine, but let's go with sine. Um, and so our B value is equal to 3. Okay, notice then we need, um, this, this looks a whole lot like sine, but it's been stretched a little bit. We have an amplitude here of 2. And notice, since I started here in the midline and went up and then came back down, I don't need to um, make it negative to go, like if, if, I, if my graph had gone instead of counterclockwise, or if my wheel had gone instead of counterclockwise, if it had gone clockwise, then it would have gone down first, and it would have looked something like this, going this way instead. And then I would have just multiplied this by a negative so that I get that reflection. But I don't have to worry about that. So my amplitude is 2, and I can just think of that, OK, my a value is 2. Well, notice, once again, this is sine. I don't have to shift at all. I'm right there in the midline. Well, OK, that's not true. I don't have to shift left or right. I do have to shift up and down. Um, but what I have is um, my, my curve looks a whole lot like it's got an amplitude of 2, so it looks like sine. And then my b value we just said was 3 um, times x. And then I had to shift up to this midline of up 2. Um, however, this is what you had been graphing. Hopefully, you did well on your test graphing that. Um, I'm going to take this and write it in terms of our particular problem. The height as a function of time is equal to 2 sine 3t plus 2. Okay, um, so I'm not sure. Have I answered the questions? Um, sketch a graph, I did. How long does it take it to complete one revolution? We said one revolution is going to take it 2 pi over 3 seconds. Um, this is in, these are in terms of seconds, and this is in terms of centimeters. Okay, um, so then what was the next question? How long one revolution, 2 pi over 3 seconds? What is the value of b? We said it was 3. What is the amplitude? 2. Write an equation. I already did. I'll show you again in a second. Okay, and then g says use the equation to find the first time that the point will be at a height of 1 centimeter. Okay, so here is my graph. They want to know when is the first time its height is at 1 centimeter. Do you agree? So this has a height of 1 centimeter. So they are wanting to know what's this value right here. Well, notice this is going to be somewhere between um, pi over 3 and um, pi over 2. So that's what we would expect. Now, if you think about it, this, this graph, in theory, goes on forever and ever and ever. So we have infinitely many places where it'll cross that line. So we've got this one, and we've got, we've got this one, and then it'll happen again in another period. And then this one will happen again in another period. Um, and here... Okay, so for this particular problem, they're saying, okay, when, tell us the time, when does this equal one centimeter? Okay, so I'm going to take my equation, uh, 2 sine of 3t plus 2, that was the equation we just found, set that equal to 1. And now I'm going to solve. So I have 2 sine of 3t is equal to negative 1. I divide. Okay, do not, do not, do not, do not, do not, do not, do not. Should I say that again? Um, do not divide by 3 at this point. That would be totally wrong. What you're doing is you could think of this as saying, okay, sine of theta is equal to negative 1 half, where I let theta equal 3t. Okay, so this, don't try and deal with the 3 until after you've figured out what, what um, sine values you might need. Okay, so if we think about our unit circle, um, we... When we have something like, if I had said arc sine of negative one-half, you would end up getting, okay, this is down here. You would have gone this way, the negative direction, and you would have gotten negative pi over six. However, 
when we look back at this graph, a negative value over here, well, that's great and fine and all, but they, we're starting at time zero. So we don't want to live just in this arc sine world, if that makes sense. Um, so we're going to think about the two times, uh, and this first one here was 7 pi over 6, and this is 11 pi over 6, and that's when um, the sine is equal to negative 1 half. So what we have here is we have that 3t is equal to 7 pi, sorry, over 6 plus 2 pi k. Or what we could have said is that theta equals that. Well, then theta was equal to 3t. So now what, here's, here's what we're thinking. Uh, and then we also, the other time is that 3t is equal to 11 pi over 6. You can see that up here. Do, 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 do. There it is. Um, plus 2 pi k. Now, I, I've decided to find all of them, even though they only asked me for the first one, because it's easier, well, because sometimes they might ask you for all of them, um, but it's easier once we have all of them to figure out what was the first one. Um, so notice they said the first time. They didn't say the first three times, or whatever, three times that time. We had to solve for T, is what I'm trying to tell you. So, um, so I'm going to come through here and multiply by one-third. So I could divide by 3, but when I've already got fractions, it makes more sense to multiply by 1 third. So t is equal to 7 pi over 6 times 3 is 18, plus this also has to get multiplied by 1 third. Okay, and then over here, it becomes 11 pi over 18 plus 2 pi over 3 times k. You should notice that this part that we're adding right here is the period of the graph. Okay, if you think about it, well, when does it hit this point? Every time that we have a period, we get back to that, that, that value. Um, so that's, the period is being added on, and, and since we changed our period, that's what happens. Um, so when we think about this, the 7 pi over, well, this, by the way, is um, 2 pi over 3 would equal what over 18? Um, it would equal, multiply that by 6, multiply that by 6, 12 pi over, over 18. So the first one, if they said to write a bunch of them, I'd say the first one would be 7 pi over 18. Then this one would be next. 11 pi over 18 would be the next one. And then I would take and add 12. So then I'd have, what I'm doing is adding these two, 19 pi over 18. And then I could add 12 pi over 18 to this. So that's 23 pi over 18. So if they said find the first four times that it's got a height of 1, well, here are the first four times. Um, notice if I subtracted this, from this um, to, to go to, I, I would end up negative. Um, another way, does that make sense? Um, another way for us to think about this is, um, oh, well, the first time, first, the first time is when t is equal to 7 pi over 18 seconds. Um, and we had said earlier that it needed to be between um, pi over 3 and pi over 2. So if you think about it, pi over 3 is equal to what over 18? Uh, multiply by 6, so 6 pi over 18. And that pi over 2 is equal to 9. Oh, sorry, you can't see that. It is equal to 9 pi over 18. And if you notice, well, 6 pi over 18 is less than 7 pi over 18, which is less than 9 pi over 18. So we did find the value that, that landed where we expected. Um, let's answer the last question. Hopefully I'm being very thorough for you. Hopefully this makes sense. Um, the last question said, what will the height be at a time of 5 pi over 6 seconds? Okay, so what this one is saying is um, find h of 5 pi over 6. Okay, um, so our, our equation had been h of t was equal to, oh, I forgot it. How did I forget it? Uh, 2 sine of 3t plus 2. Okay, so now we just need to plug in 5 pi over 6 for t. So this is h of 5 pi over 6 is equal to 2 sine of 3 times 5 pi over 6 plus 2. 2 sine of these, that will cancel. This will give me 5 pi over 2 plus 2. 5 pi is coterminal to something on my unit. I lied. 5 pi over 2 is coterminal to something on my unit circle. So this is 1 pi over 2, 2 pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, 4 pi over 2. So this is 5 pi over 2 is coterminal to just pi over 2. So its sine value, notice that's the y value, its sine value is 1. So this is 2 times 1 plus 2, and that's equal to 4 centimeters. Okay, you need to, need to, need to practice, practice, practice. So it's one thing for what I do to make sense to you, which is great. 
But if you can't do it yourself, you're gonna you're gonna struggle. So good luck. Practice hard.